Yo, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Quarry. Let's continue. Put the save. What happened in the last episode? We were looking for beer. Right, 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 right. We're looking for beer. I think we found it as well. We move. What's her name? Caitlin? Finally get my phone back and it's just a big dumb brick. What is that? That looks interesting. Yes, another photo. Hey, Caitlin. Guess what? Mr. H is a voyeuristic creep. He has hidden cameras everywhere and a secret room. No, that's not... Well, whoa, now, back up. What? <laughs> His eyes are everywhere. He's always watching us. Look it off, man. He, he's just got... Trail cameras set up, you know, forest surveillance, that kind of thing. Oh, you don't think that's weird? Well, he's got a perimeter to check, kids to protect. You know, probably just to keep track of wildlife. You guys have no imagination. So, uh, what's going on here? Everything ready? I, I did see a weird light in the treehouse across the lake. Yeah, that was pretty spooky. Maybe it's your girlfriend, Ryan. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I told That's her you girlfriend? You say Hag of Hackett's I'm Quarry again. What's wrong with saying Hag of Hackett's Quarry? Are you done? You know, I just oh. realized we may never see each other again after tonight. You can't have just realized that. Just trying to set the mood. What mood? The mood, the vibe, you know. Speaking of setting the mood, I have work to do. Okay, because playlists don't make themselves. I mean, I guess they do, but... All right, right, guy. Time to get wood. Yikes. Wording. Oh, I know what I said. Abby, Nick. Time to get wood. We got wood. <laughs> We've already done that joke. It's mostly just kindling. Oh, that's all we need. There's already a big pile of logs here. We could have gotten more, but there was a hog or a boar. But Nick was very, very brave and took one for the team. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it can't be. The hog of Hackett's quarry? What? I thought you hated that phrase. <laughs> big jokes take big sacrifices. You're so brave. Oh, I just want to shrink you down to little pocket people and put you in my pocket and peep it to where I need a little pick-me-up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> put him in the pocket. Whoa. Special delivery. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Where the hell did that gun come uh, from? Dude, relax, okay? It's not even real. Uh. Well, I mean, it's a real gun, but it's just for shooting bears. We found it in the storage room. We get okay, the good. Fine, fine. We'll put it down. Thank you. Guns are no joke, chip chip. And and we bring you a hand-picked selection of only the finest that Hackett's Quarry has to offer. No freaking way. Yes, freaking way. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter puffs. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop. I didn't even. Come on, bro. What the fuck? Hey, hey, cool your jets there, cowboy. All right, these are spoken for. Dude, you can't just shove those in my face and not expect me to want to pop, pop, pop them in my mouth. Come on, Emma. Please hand me the shotgun. What? You're gonna shoot me over them? No, dumbass. Okay, we are going to shoot for them. No, nah, dude. Absolutely not. No. Okay, as much as I enjoy watching Nick squirm away from a challenge, I don't think this is a great idea. Hey, uh, you know what? Yeah, you're right. Maybe I should just uh, give Nick the butter pops as like an act of charity or something. Fine, you're on. Yeah, 
Yeah, boy! <laughs> Jacob, hand me that gun now. Ain't nobody's handling any firearms if you're gonna act like a dick about okay, it. Okay, then you can be the ref. We need an objective third party. Okay, we're trying to get a party started here, Jacob. Okay, well, the main party's not gonna die just because you're off on a little side quest. Come on! No side quest, we're doing the store and nothing else. Alright. Guess we're gonna have ourselves an old fashioned shootout. Yeah. Look, there's a clearing we can use as a shooting range back there, but. If I see either of you dicking around, I am turning this car around. Oh, uh. we'll be good. <laughs> Peanut butter butter pops. Okay. Okay, so just so you know, I was an expert marksman, <clears throat> third class, three years in a row, ranked highest in camp each year. I'm just letting you know. That your goose is cooked, Nick. But if you back down now, I might let you just have one little peanut butter butter pop if you're lucky. No way. You've never even seen me shoot. Yeah, that's because you've never shot before. Yeah, not that you know of. <laughs> okay, I think I would know. Okay, actually... boys, I'm gonna have to stop you right there. As much as I'm enjoying your charming machismo, the moment we step foot on the shooting range, we're playing by my rules, okay? And what I say goes. Got it? Okay, good. Now I'm gonna go set up some targets and get more shells. Do not move a muscle or touch his gun until I'm back. Right, so is it just me or is it kind of hot when she gets all bossy like that? I'm always hot, pencil. Yeah, okay, thank you. Bye, bye. She is pretty. She is pretty. I kind of like her. So, um, how was your little one on one with Abby in the woods? I was things with Emma, or it was okay. It was. It was okay. Hey, had a boy. So, I mean, what happened? Well, we flirted a little. She's really smart. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I mean, you see the deal? Don't be gross. What? No, no, no. Hey, look, no sweat. Okay. We all get performance anxiety sometimes. You just better make your move before a real man swoops in. Speaking of, let me show you how a real man. Shoots his gun. Are you guys seriously still thumping your chest at each other? No, I think he's got brain damage. <laughs> okay, please just give me the gun. Uh uh. You'll have it when I say you'll have it. All right, huddle up, boys. This is how we're going to do this. You're shooting the one on the left. Nick first, then Jacob's turn. Keep your fingers off the trigger till you're ready to shoot. You got it? Aye, aye. All right. Two things. Remember the spread, remember the recoil. This is a shotgun. We're not sharpshooting here. The flashlight shows you where you're aiming. Obs. That's all the tutorials. Okay, let's take a look. I'm sorry to have to say, there may well be times during your stay at Hackett's Quarry where you'll have to defend yourself <laughs> using potentially deadly force. When engaging in combat, simply aim your weapon and shoot where the flashlight is pointed. Take note, if you're up close and personal with your target, you'll do more damage. The farther away, the larger the spread, and injuries may not be fatal. There's a time and place for the use of weapons, and you may want to consider all your options. Remember, it's not always wise to pull the trigger. That's how people get hurt. Mm, okay. Okay. What am I shooting at? The bottle? All right, Nick, one point. Okay, we're too far back to do any real damage. Let's scooch forward a little and uh, fuck these guys up. Pink, you're good. Get out of the range. Get out of the way, though. All right, Nick. This time for real. Nice shot. I'm lucky. Wasting watermelons. Point to you, Nick. 
Good job, Nick. All right. Okay. Let's see what you got. All right. You might want to uh, avert your eyes, Nick. I don't want to give you any more performance anxiety. Uh, all right, all right. Just shut up and shoot, Jacob. Look at this dance. I thought you were an ultra elite pro marksman. Yeah, with like a rifle. Whoa, okay, dude, not with this freaking cannon dude, blaster. That is how you get someone shot. Nah, it's okay. You probably would have missed me anyway. Hey. Okay, disqualified for being a dumbass. What? No. I don't want to hear the butter box theme. Sorry, I don't Jacob. know. Better luck I don't next want time. to hear it. Butter like next time? Hey, I didn't want to say it, but <laughs> you're both very mean. Blam, we thought this was over. What the whoa. Okay, she can shoot. She can shoot. Pop pop peanut butter butter pops. Okay. Okay. Let's go. I hope this music is copyright free. Stop. Okay. New idea. Party game. Uh, I read that. Come on, people, we might never see each other after tonight. Let's make some memories. Well, what do you have in mind? How about the ultimate game of secrets and lies, truth or dare, but Dylan style? Okay, house rules are. Someone asks you truth or dare, then you choose, and then you do. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts. So, like, normal truth or dare? Yes. So we can, like, make people kiss? If they choose dare, yeah. As long as everyone consents, of course. Cool beans. I mean, keep it in your pants until it's your turn, but... Well, who does get to go first? Well, it's so house push. feels, so... Abigail. Truth or dare? Um. Truth. You really dodged a bullet, huh? All right, here goes. Have you ever slept with anyone? Oh, I. Uh, um, I. Interrupt? No. No, would I interrupt? Have you ever slept with anyone at this camp? Oh, no. Nope. Sorry. All right, Abby, it's your turn. <laughs> she gonna ask though. All right, okay. Um. Uh, Abby, oh my God, just pick someone. Okay, okay, um. I don't know. Ugh. Ding, ding, ding. Too late. My turn. Ryan. Truth or dare? Truth or dare? <laughs> Truth. Truth. I'm an open book. Okay, okay. Let's get right down to it. Let's do it. You and Mr. Hackett. Here we go. What were you doing in his office? Let's go, Mistress. We were talking about her. The hat. Oh, brother. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You asked me to stop telling ghost stories. Is all. You don't really believe that, do you? I try to look at things through a certain lens, no expectation or judgment. Look, do I believe there's a little old ghost lady <laughs> floating around trying to eat people? Well, well um, 
but she eats people now. But it's kind of fun to imagine it, right? Just don't get eaten tonight. It, like, really put a damper on the mood. Do my best. Alrighty, who shall I pick? Well, uh, me and Jacob haven't gotten a turn yet. Good point. Jacob or Caitlin? Let's go Caitlin. Caitlin, what do you say? Truth or dare? True. Yeah, true. Let's see. Jacob. Oh, well, that's interesting. So, that's so you and Jacob go way back, right? Like since you were kids. Sadly, yes. Lame question, bro. Waste of a turn. You guys ever uh, get down to business together? When we were freshmen, I made Jacob let me practice French kissing on him. But it never went any further because he's a terrible kisser. And it was like kissing my brother. Yo, still love you, bud. <laughs> he's hurt. Okay. He's hurt. My turn. Look at him. Emma. There. Emma, so you have to kiss. Jacob? Or oh. Nick. Uh. <laughs> well then. Um. Uh. Sorry, Nick. This is not uh, there, obviously. I don't know if that's a good this. idea. I choose Nick. M. <laughs> Seriously. Okay. Guys. Oh, Jacob is mad. Jacob is mad. Oh, I didn't even think about her. Guys. Look at Abigail. Thank you, Nick. She's not happy. He's good. You like kissing my girlfriend, asshole? It was just a game. Hey, I'm nobody's <laughs> girlfriend. The fuck it was. It was just a game. Yeah, the fuck it was, man. Jacob, grow up. <laughs> well, I guess I should probably go after him. Yeah, before the hag hag gets four gets him. Go find Abby. So, anybody want to play Parcheesi? What? What is, what's that? What is Parcheesi? Parcheesi. I'm laughing now, but I th think they're gonna get me though. I think they're gonna get Welcome me. Welcome back! I am, as always, delighted that you're here. So, then, what more has been found? You Nothing. return without any more of my cards, yet you return nonetheless. Why is that, do you think? I don't know, I lady. help you without the cards. I want them found. I want them returned to me. Please, my friend. That's all I have to say for now. Secrets remain buried and the night grows darker. I'll see you again. You can count on that. Be careful. Where the wolves go, the ravens follow. Hmm. Who is that? I don't think we know. We don't know, we don't know, we don't know. 
Chapter 2 completed. Chapter 3, Trouble in Paradise. Stupid game. What are we in middle school? Why should I even care? I think I can kiss anybody. Stupid. Stupid. Where the hell am I? Don't know where you are. Uh, where are the cards? Looking for cards. I don't know where we're going. We just came from here, right? This is kind of spooky, I'm not gonna lie. I uh, found a card. I thought that it might be tarot cards. When she says, bring me cards. Uh -oh. <laughs> yes, sir. Abby? Shout again! I'm over here! Coming! Nick! Hey. Hey. Um. Hi. You, uh. You ran off. I think that game just got a little too intense for me. I... Yeah, I know what you mean. Guess Emma's had a thing for you all along, huh? What? No, no, no way. She was just trying to make Jacob jealous. I was just playing along. You seem to enjoy playing along. I enjoyed helping Emma make Jacob jealous. That's about it. Kiss her, kiss her, kiss her. <laughs> What is this? Did you hear that? Mm hmm Should we look? Mm-hmm. It's a wolf. Wolves are dangerous. They bite real hard. <clears throat> they bite real hard. I need a fan out. Put it right there. Put it right there. And it'll blow cool air in my face. Is it another boar? It's too growly. Is it a bear? It's too fast. What was it?
help Nick run to camp. Help Nick. Nick! Oh my god! What is that thing? It's the thing for the basement. Come on. Climb tree? No. Just get back to the camp. Or back to the fire pit. Crazy. Technique needs work. Hey. Uh, yeah. I guess you're coming then. Of course. <sighs> Sneaking down here was a little more fun when we thought we could get caught, huh? Yeah, I, uh, I guess. Jacob, I thought we agreed that this, us, it's just supposed to be some summer fun. No, no. I know. I just. You just love having him out here, pal. Oh, Jacob. I mean, you. Do, I can't believe you. The, you fucking Frenched him. <sighs> you know, in front of everyone. Jesus wept. Frenched? Are we twelve? No, but Nick is. Kind of. <laughs> you know, I love the guy, but I don't think he's actually ever seen a girl naked before. Well, I hate to break it to you, but he just had his tongue down my throat, and he definitely knew what to do with it. <laughs> You you really love fucking with me, huh? Lighten up, Sourpuss, please. This is not how the night was supposed to go. What? You know what? Nothing. No Nothing. Never mind. Fine. You can stand here, sulking. Driving yourself crazy imagining Nick's tongue in my mouth. Ah! Oh, or... You can go grab us some towels. 
What do you need towels for? Well, we agreed. Summer fun, right? Apparently, summer is not quite... thing alive or dead hmm. we don't know I will look for towels tarot cards we get the old lady off our backs now she says no you didn't bring me any cards now we got some cards. What's that? Towels, towels, towels. Zero. You're dead. What the hell? Get back down here, Jacob. Binoculars. What? Whoa. Someone up there? Yeah, I'm gonna go with probably everything's fine. Hey, you know, that's never good. Oh, it must have been the wind, NPC hit ass. Come on, bro. Oh, must have been the wind. Oh, look at her. Okay, well, I guess we could just like drip dry or you, know, you could shake it out doggy style. Wow, you really know how to talk to a girl, don't you? Well Look, you can't just pretend that it didn't happen. Oh, but I can, because you see, oh, help, help, I'm, I'm drowning, and I, I need a big, strong, not at all insecure man to come save me. <laughs> Shouldn't joke like that. Okay. What's this? A female in need? Fear not, fragile thing, for Hurricane Jake is here! Cannonball! That's not a cannonball! Cold, cold, cold. Oh, cold. Hurricane Jake. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hurricane Jake. Oh, okay. Okay, now you're gonna get it. See? <clears throat> <laughs> hey, switch. Oh, stop being a uh, No, we don't need splash. Move. <laughs> 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 
Look at his face. Take a photo of me or flirt? I don't want this to end. I'd be happy to stay out here all summer, but I think we'd get a little clean. Oh, you know what I mean. Like, I need this. Jacob, I had a great summer with you. Well, it doesn't just have to be this summer. Jacob. Okay, oh, look, how about this? Um, <clears throat> if I can do a backflip off of here, you let me come see you, okay? How about that? Right. Hey! Where you going? Come on! What was that? Oh shit, the road over here. Oh, gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh! Hope Abby will dive in for work. We need the key though. Jacob? Oh, dick. Finding the roller key out here though. It seems impossible. How did we find it? Careful. Where's Emma? That's her name, right? Shit. Abigail's gonna be fine. I hope. Some mighty fine social disruption there, Kaylin, I have to say. Ah, or was it just the nudge that Abby needed? You're an evil genius. Who do you think is gonna make the first move? Nick or Abby? Ooh, good cue. My bet's on either. I don't know, Nick's got the beast in him. Uh, if by beast you mean some sort of mild-mannered baby deer. Hey, don't let the cute preppy aesthetic fool you it's like a steel barbecue grill under that shirt <laughs> so you noticed that too huh so what do you guys want to do now we can keep playing yeah just the three of us all right dylan truth or uh, i sound like abby oh my gosh uh, we gotta help her <laughs> wait where did it come from this way Come on. Abby! Help! Please! Nick! Help him! Hey! What happened? Abby, what happened? Ryan! We gotta know what. Well, she needs help. Give her a second. Right. Go after Nick! <laughs> Okay, I got this. Yeah, man. Cool. That shotgun's got a hell of a spread. Be careful. How 
do we aim again? Left, left uh, stick or right stick? I think it's right stick. Take shortcut. Stick shortcut. Let's take a shortcut. I feel like taking the short path might have been faster. Given that we have to do all these QTs. Shortcuts came in handy. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Oh, Put some clothes on, for God's sake. Come on, man. Uh, where did he keep the spark plug or whatever? Uh, what is it? A rotor arm? Where does he keep that? Fuck. Oh, Jesus. There's a half naked girl waiting for you back there, Jacob. What are you doing? Maybe we shouldn't have did that. Abby? No, it's not Abby. Oh. 
Michael, please. Please, man, just... Just let me down, okay? Just... Don't hurt me, please. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck are you doing? Son of a bitch! Maybe he's not the bad guy. Quiet. Helps if you close your eyes. Oh, oh. What are you doing? Shh. Stop. Help. Help. Tastes bad, don't it? It's for your own good. Where are you off to now, girly? It was meant for uh, it was meant for an animal. Hmm, okay. Seems like just a blink and you're back to see me again. So then what have we got? It's the star. Stars, stars in the night, sky, beacons of light, dreams of hope, purpose, or a reminder of our insignificance, fear of despair, trust in the light of the star, with it comes clarity, and sometimes truth. The tower. Jump free of your troubles. Fight or flight? That's the question we all ask ourselves. But often when leaping out of danger, we're still faced with certain peril. Watch your step. It could be your last. Remember, there's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? Yes, good, but I can only delve deeper into one possible future. So which is it? Choose. <laughs> Star on the tower. The tower. Oh, what is this? Back to it then. Back to Hackett's Quarry. Back hmm. to Hackett's Quarry you go. Oh, the fun you'll have. Interesting. That was horrible. It was. It, what it died yet, it was, though? I, I, I don't even know what it was. It was so fast, and and there was a uh, there was a hunter, and it was just. Oh, Abby. Here. What? Oh, try drawing. Drawing what? Oh, uh, can you draw what attacked you? It's a good idea. <laughs> Nick. Hey, buddy. Can you tell me what those guys did to you? Rush did. He's super out of it. Yeah. The, the the hunter. Uh, yeah. There was a guy. But there was something else. Some kind of animal. What oh. kind of animal? No, no. I only saw a dude trying to take him away. It's probably just disoriented. That's all. The dude was oh, like, massive and angry. Yeah, I get it. It's, it's Abby. 
Yeah, she, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. Uh, it closed. The teeth were on top of me. I think it was a bear. Full size bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I, I thought we don't get bears right here. Uh, oh, fuck. Look at that. Oh, fuck. shit. That black stuff? That's that's infection. That's and it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. Uh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, You're okay. Apply the pressure. Okay. Uh, fuck that. Hurt. In the belt. We should amputate. Oh my god, no. We should cut it off before the infection spreads. What? It's an infection, though. Why would we do that? I don't know, man. Look at that black stuff. What what do you think it is? Do I look like a doctor? Yeah. How do you know? I know how to use it. Sort of. Brian, what if it's Jacob or Emma? What if it's not? Be careful. Yo. It was probably nothing. Yeah. But is it gone? Yeah, you better run. Very brave. All right. So, uh, Law just sounding pretty good right about now, yeah? Wait, no, 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 no. Don't shoot, don't shoot. I'm here to save you. Well, man. Holy shit. Nick. Is he okay? Nick and Abby were attacked. In the woods. Hey, does anybody have any dry clothes? I'm, I'm fucking freezing. All our bags are still in the minivan. Oh, fuck, of course they are. Jacob, where's Emma? Oh, fuck! Oh, Jesus Christ, um... I, I left Emma on the island, I, and I told her I'd be right back. Ouch. Wait, the island? Yeah, why? Oh, no, I just... I just thought I saw someone over there before. Someone? No, I, you know, I, I don't know, it's, it's probably nothing. I left her out there alone. Well, I think we're gonna head to the lodge. Also, why are you covered in what I hope is strawberry jelly? Oh, yeah, no, um, I'm pretty sure it's blood. It was this guy with, like, um, he had, like, a bottle. Like, I don't know, dude, it's, like, a really long story. Ew. Yeah, no, it's super fucked up. <laughs> oh, it, Jesus Christ, I can't believe I haven't told you this yet. I, I saw a fucking body in the lake. Like, a dead one? Oh, no, 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 um... One of the one of the swimmers from the varsity swim team. No time to be sarcastic, no, dummy. Practice and it was... Yes, a dead one, dumbass. Of course you did, Jacob. Well, no, for real, I did. I, I figured it must have been one of the counselors that didn't show up, but I couldn't tell because it was like all, all bloaty and gross. Something's not right. He's on to something. He's on to something. I gotta go get Emma. Uh, excuse me. Hey, I need this, okay? It's not safe out there, dude. We gotta protect Nick and Abby. 
Yeah, and I need to save Emma, all right? She's out there alone. You don't even know if she's in trouble. You don't even know if you're in trouble. Are you trying to piss me off? No, I'm trying to save my girlfriend's life, asshole. Yeah, I don't think she's your girlfriend, dude. What? Get... Let go. <laughs> Real mess here, guys. You're acting like pricks, both of you. She's Take right. We're keeping this. Nick and Abby are injured. We need protection. There's someone around here. <laughs> Ryan. Sorry. This is bullshit. Make sure she's safe. If she's on the island, she's definitely fine. And what? Risk another run-in with Captain Deliverance? No thanks. Okay. There's probably another boat by the zip line. Either way, I can make it to the island from there. We saw on the zip line though. Try to get help. How? Nick can't walk properly. Wait, I have an idea. Put him in a wheelbarrow? That's not a bad idea. I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty smart. Okay, let's see what tonight brings. <laughs> okay, here's a riddle for you. What's got two thumbs and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark? This fool. <laughs> well, one thumb. One available thumb. Okay. And it was Stop here your bed. on this strange, uninhabited island that this brave young soul found herself. <sighs> okay, full disclosure. I suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island, all alone, with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a treehouse over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing. Not that I want to go back, because I don't. But even if I did, I can't. Because then I'd be like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. You know what? Sorry, I'm venting. Well, explore venting. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers. Oh. Mm, okay. And this is the meeting shelter. It's a shelter where you meet at. Okay, I'm trying really hard to make this interesting, but sometimes a thing just is what it is. I don't like this. I think I made my point. I'm looking for cards, though. Maybe there's a card over here. This is one of the hunters. Ah, okay, okay. Look at that, applying that noodle. Try to chase money, applying that gamer noodle. I knew there was a card here. like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child. It's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? 
Why? Why does it have to be me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> oh, look. The metaphor in the narrative, by mean of fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life? I guess since this isn't live, the choice is up to me. See that? Holy shit. I kinda wanna see Jacob and Emma together though. Ah, oh, what the hell. We're in it now anyway. Well, and truly in the thick of it. Because you know what else? I was really excited for the next part of my life, you know? I mean, the summer was great, but what's next? I mean, come on. I know by the time I post this, Hackett's quarry will just be but a distant memory, and I know it's just one night, and you have to make the most of all your opportunities, and yada, yada, yada. I guess, I just don't want to have to settle for what's around me, you know? Abby sees me as this confident person, but really? I'm just desperate to stay afloat in a world where everyone wants to be different. Keep walking. They're gonna jump they're gonna jump something at us. I already know it. They're gonna jump something at us. First time I've been alone all summer. Kind of like it. I guess that kind of reinforces the whole Jacob thing. I know the plan was for him to come get me, but now that I'm by myself, I kind of like it. Sorry, Jacob, if you're watching. Nothing personal. It's a me thing. We're cool, right? Yeah, we're cool. I mean, who knows? Maybe in 50 years, we'll bump into each other and be flooded with fond memories of that one amazing summer at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, and that spark that changed our lives forever. Then we'll be like 70-year-old lovers or whatever and have crazy walker sex. <laughs> hey, it could happen. Only time will tell, Jakey boy, and as they say, time makes fools of us all. But we will be the oldest, sexiest fools there ever were. <laughs> Until then, I gotta do my thing. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Still warm. Looks like someone was just here. Close the raven nevermore. Huh. Stop it with the creepy music. I guess I gotta do this one handed, huh? That didn't sound great. <laughs> oh shit. Just stop recording. Uh, just thought you should know. I am nailing this ladder climbing. Uh, oh. Alright. This is the luxurious Skyway Treehouse. Obviously. Constructed in the year 180 fuck by a blindfolded man who used only the finest rotting wood, rusty nails, and donkey spit that money could buy. A real hack it 
vintage classic. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there, and... Oh, look. It seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there? But... I don't recognize this. Did you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? There are literally no right answers. We'll go check it out, though. Let's search the bag. Bag it is. And you know what? I'm putting some clothes on. This is all you're getting. Bear spray, right? Hmm. And a taser. Good thing we searched the bag. Okay, so I think there's something up there. And it is not gonna make me jump, I can promise you that much. Cruel world, the final curtain is calling, and there's no time for an encore. Taser, taser, bear spray. Let's use the taser. Ugh. Take photo. That was a good choice. We saw something else though. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Ooh. Time events, we got them. Baby, you can do it, Emma. <laughs> Nobody died yet. Am I a god gamer? Easy. I got it. He's okay. You in pain? No, no, sorry, I'm just I'm really hungry. Eat the butter pops. We'll get you some food inside, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. I can eat a horse. Well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola. Oh yuck, I hate granola. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something to eat.
You and I are gonna find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yep. We'll come meet you. Copy that. Do you think that whatever attacked them out there is, I don't know, has their scent or something? What? I don't know, like, what if it got a taste for blood and now it's gonna track them down? I, I doubt it. I just feel like if we stick with them, we're sitting ducks. I don't know. Oh, I really don't think that whatever attacked them out in the woods is gonna get into the lodge. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're probably right. <sighs> Come on, let's go call for backup. Let's Pretty do weird it. to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No. Did you? A couple times. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you going? I... I, I, I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. Bunch of things going on here. There's the monster, there's the hunters, I think Nick's injuries and then there's whatever's whispering. What did he say? Well, that's good news. Yeah. So what now? We gotta call for help. Who should I call? Ghostbusters. Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? Who says 911? I don't know. Anyway, yeah, but like, what cool. should I ask for? Like, police? Ambulance? Both. <sighs> Well, do you need to specifically ask for an ambulance, or can you just say, like, help, help? So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And I'll say, help, help, my friend may have been attacked by a bear, or maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And we're not sure how many there are out there right now, uh, and or how smart they are, so they may be mounting an attack on us right now. So just, like, send a whole bunch of ambulances just to be sure. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. Okay. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of like Emma now. I kind of like her now. I didn't like her at first, but seeing how how she handled that monster, I like her. Back to the story. What's wrong? She's dead. Well, that's weird. Phones go dead sometimes out here. Right when you're about to call the cops, though? It's a coincidence. You try the hang up thingy. What? Here. What are you doing? I don't know. It's what they do in movies when the phone goes dead. You tap on the little thingy. We're not in a movie. Okay. Well, you know, how do you know that? Maybe that's just what they want you to think, man. Look people in the eye when you're talking okay, to them. So this phone's a no-go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah. And where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let, let, let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. I will put it back when we're good and safe and help is on the way. Uh, okay, just careful with it. I'll be fine. Okay. Uh, 
it's it's probably the weather. Why are you so the weather, Ryan? You know, maybe, maybe it was the bears. Bear. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay, so for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power? What if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. We should probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaks. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's go. Where's your gun? Oh, God. Yeah, we should probably leave that with Caitlin. Do you think she really needs it, though? Uh, she needs it just as much as we do. If she's staying in the lodge, we're going out there. Yeah, with you two guns. You literally just said there might be something dangerous in the lodge. When? Like 20 seconds ago. Just leave one of the okay, guns. Okay, sure. But that's because I really wanted the gun. Just give her the gun, man. Give gun. They might need it. Uh, all right. You're right. Hey, we'll still have mine. If you're extra nice to me, I'll, I might let you hold it. Don't write a check that you're asking cash. My ass has got quite the bank account. Am I interrupted something? Oh. Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it. This is a long chapter. I don't like the zipline though. There's no other way. We gotta make sure we take every precaution. Don't die. We made it, right? There goes the taser, though. Surprising, knowing one's own raw power 
tapping into a tapping into a previously unknown energy. I suppose there are forces at work within us all, and with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. The magician. The magician. <laughs> the incredible, the unbelievable, the mystical, sensational. Perceptive manipulation. The work of a magician. Now you see it, now you don't. Blink and you miss it. And you wouldn't want to miss it. As always, there's more to see. And as always, the choice is yours. Would you like to see more? Sure. Choose one. Choose wisely. Let's choose the strength. What do we have? So it's goodbye again. I'll leave you with this. Remember who your friends are. Remember who's looking out for you. Chapter four, baby. We did it. Let's go. Hey, thank you for watching. I'll catch you later.